here's an example of the kind of man that comes from Queens. There's a man named Robert Goldman. That's right. Robert Goldman holds three world records, 80 handstand push-ups in 43 seconds, 100 handstand push-ups in 1 minute 29 seconds, and 100 one-arm extension push-ups in 49.1 seconds. That's good work. Really? Are you a, you're a teacher with, with, with Jack Willane? Yeah, I work for Jack Willane. And training to be a doctor? Yeah. No problem Isn't making house great? calls, This huh? is what I'm advocating. See, to get this terrific body, and then with a the mentality, be an example, to go out and really preach this gospel, see? That's great. That's true. Really. That's, can we take a look at some of this stuff? I really, I, I, I always like doing push-ups. I never got into one-arm push-ups. Can we look at the, what the one-arm push-up is? Yeah, so I'm still some here. people do them <laughs> like this, and some people do them like this, but these are like this. Wow. That is really hard. Difficult to do. Now, just to get down again just for a second. Now, suppose somebody's <laughs> watching, and they want to practice that. I mean, you don't just start out with your hand out in front of you like that. How, how do you work into it? Well, first I would do regular push-ups. All right. Then from there, you learn to do claps so you can get a lot of height. Okay. Then you work out into here. Work your way out slowly until you push up like this. Then you take the arm back and you stretch all the way out like that. And how many of those did you do for the world record? A 100. And whatever. All right. Now, handstand push-ups. First, just doing a handstand is tough. I mean, that takes a lot of strength right there, right? Yeah. A little difficult. So can you show us what a Well, you want to take a breather first? I don't I get some more. All right. Well, why is he taking a breath? You well, really believe... You just never get tired. The, the yeah. two... Jack says I'm not, I'm not tired. He's not tired. Okay. I'm fine. Go ahead. Handstand push-up. Okay. Uh, generally, when you're first starting a handstand, you could start against the wall. Then after a while, you, you learn how to just balance down, where you just come down like this. And you're, and you're in it. Then you just push up like that. Oh, you then you just down. push up, just right. like that. Yeah. And if you want, you could do them with your legs apart, cross, whatever way you want. And you just keep pushing. Well, what motivated you to do this in the first place? You're looking at the man. He's right over there. Really? Yeah. How did that happen? Well, I used to... When I, I used to watch Jack since I was a little kid, and uh, he always used to do all different kinds of exercises. I mean, you were, were a little kid watching him on TV. I was about this high. I was a little sprout. And uh, I grew out of a seed, and now I practice what Jack used to do on TV. That's where I originally started exercise when I was about nine years old. That's fabulous. That must make you sit down. That must make you feel great, Jack. Well, it really does. To think yeah. that you have this television show, you've influenced so many people. Like when you're on TV, you never know what, who you're influenced or what you're doing to people. Just like when I give my lectures all over the country, you know, if I'm lecturing to 10,000 people, I figure if I can help one of those people, because mm. can you put a price on a life? Because my life was saved when I attended that health lecture, that <coughs> Paul Bragg health lecture. And if I hadn't been there, I mean, if he hadn't been there, I would have probably be dead now, because I would never made it. I mean, I'm positive. Let's take some audience questions for all of our yeah. guests now. The next person mm -hmm. up with a question was... Hey, hey. Today's though, stay with us.